crazy video, a box truck burst into flames. This is after being hit by a bus. And a wild scene playing out in Clifton, and that's where we find Fox Size Lisa Evers joining us live. Lisa? Well, Natasha and Bianca, a tragic turn to this fiery crash on Route 3 here in Clifton. The Pasadena County prosecutor confirming that the driver of that truck died in the crash. He's identified as being 55 years old and from Linden, New Jersey. Now, as the cleanup here is continuing, the investigation into what really happened is moving forward quickly. Oh, my goodness. In the social media video, you can see how quickly and ferociously the flames went shooting across Route 3, then ignited various containers of chemicals, causing loud and fiery explosions. The box truck was heading eastbound on Route 3 just after 9 Monday morning, with cargo of corrosive and dangerous chemicals inside. It was struck from behind by a bus, sending it careening into a big highway sound barrier wall right behind homes on Normandy yeah, Road. Like flames were everywhere. Everywhere. Had to split the uh, incident up to the Normandy side and Route 3 side uh, so that we would protect the houses here and then address the issue on Route 3. The fire was so intense, the heat melted siding on some of the homes. Firefighters worked for hours to put it out. Residents heard knocks on the front doors and were told by Clifton police and firefighters to evacuate immediately. The first thing I heard was the big bumps. And then after the bombs, something, another bomb came in, and then I got up, and the police came knocking on the door saying that we needed to evacuate. Local authorities tell us the bus stopped further down Route 3, and the driver was interviewed by police. As far as we know, no injuries on the bus. Chief Collins says they have begun an investigation into what chemicals were in the barrels that caught fire and are making sure there are no residual toxic substances that could harm residents. They kept pouring water on the wreckage for hours while evacuated residents waited patiently. I'm trying to go upstairs and it's running down. So hurry up, get out. A big explosion happened in the backyard and we had to evacuate. Now, there was a lot of concern about toxicity, and we're told that the New Jersey DEP and county health officials tested the air for various contaminants and found none. They're in the process right now of testing the water that is going down the storm drains because a lot of that was used to wash the scene and making sure that there's nothing dangerous in that. As for the traffic, we got an update just a few minutes ago before coming on air, and we're told that eastbound Route 3 will remain closed for at least five or six hours when it does open. It will just probably be one lane. They're hoping to get the westbound lanes open sooner than that. That's the latest here from Clifton. I'm Lisa Evers, Fox 5 News. Back to you in the studio. All right, Lisa, thank you for the update on that.